Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Case 66. We have a great case. I promise this is going to be amazing. We have an axial CT image and a sagittal CT image through the hip. And there's a glaring abnormality here, which I hope everyone recognizes. And the question that I have for everyone is, which of the following is true concerning this entity? This is a high-grade neoplasm, high rate of recurrence after resection, occurs most commonly in children, or the prognosis is guarded. Which of the following statement is true regarding the entity? So if we take a look at the CT, notice that there is a mass. There's a mass that's pretty much iso-intense to the muscle, or iso-dense, excuse me, to the muscle. And it's arising from not only the subcutaneous tissues, but it's protruding through the skin surface. And if we look at the sagittal, you can see that it's, you know, around the inguinal region, right? And it's coming off of the skin, the subcutaneous tissues, and coming out into the external environment, right? So the answer here, of course, is this is a case of dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans. You may or may not have heard of this entity, but this has a high rate of recurrence after recession, up to 55% actually in some uh, narrations, right? So this is a low-grade neoplasm. It occurs most commonly in like young to middle-aged individuals, and the prognosis is actually excellent, right? So the, the best answer here is B. And I want to go over this because I don't know that everyone is familiar with this entity because it's not super common, right? So dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans is actually a superficial, locally aggressive fibroblastic tumor. Okay, it actually represents 6%, just 6, 6% 6 of all soft tissue sarcomas. So you may or may not have encountered it, but if you read enough, you will surely encounter this uh, lesion at some point in your career. It occurs often in young to middle-aged adults, slightly more... Uh, pronounced in males versus females. Uh, so interesting to keep that in mind. It often presents as a slow growing mass, right? A slow growing cutaneous nodular or mass, typically on the trunk, the, uh, the back, sometimes the extremities as in this case, but more commonly you'll see it along, you know, the chest or the back. It can have surrounding bluish uh, red discoloration of the skin as well. Uh, it can be painful. It can be asymptomatic, but it can all, it can be painful. And if you're pregnant, if you're a pregnant female, it can enlarge, you know, rapidly if you have this lesion. Now, on imaging, what we're going to see is exactly like what we saw on our index case. This, you know, exophytic, you know, sometimes enhancing heterogeneously enhancing nodular mass that involves both the skin and the subcutaneous tissues. It doesn't really involve the muscle, right? It's not deep enough to involve the muscle, but it'll involve the skin and the subcutaneous tissues, and it may uh, extend out through the skin surface, as in our case. The recurrence rate is high, you know, up to 55% after initial excision. So that's why, you know, surgeons recommend doing a wide three centimeter excision, right? With wide three centimeter margins. And that's often hard to do. That's not often practical to do. And that's why this uh, recurs, because it's hard to get three centimeter margins around the lesion. Often we do this through Mohs surgery, right? We that, that, That's the uh, the standard of care for, you know, removing dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans, this can rarely metastasize to the lung. So actually in up to 6% of cases, this lesion can metastasize to the lung. So I think that's important to remember. And this has an excellent 10-year prognosis, 10-year survival of greater than 99%. So, you know, very uh, nice prognosis for this lesion. Thank you so much for your attention. Tune in next week for another high-yield MSK unknown case.